Well, yes, peace, beloved. How are you? This is Ella. How you doing? I'm good. I'm, yes, okay. Um, Have you ever received a psychic medium reading before, or should I explain to you how I conduct sessions? Um, I've done it before in the past, uh, about, about two years ago. Um, and I also did a card reading um, about two months ago. Okay. Okay, so that's that's nothing like what I'm about to get. We about to get into. We are about to get into. All right, so let me briefly explain to you how I will conduct sessions, and then we can get into it. Um, I'm a psychic medium, right? And what I'm gonna begin to do is I'm gonna begin to channel, and channeling is basically communicating with your spirit guides, and what your spirit guides are gonna tell me is things that happened to you in the past, present, and future tense. Sometimes I'm able to even tap into your past life, um, you know, tap into your past life in any event, which I already did, um, which I'll be sharing with you. And then um, sometimes if your ancestors as well chooses to come through uh, my vessel, I'll deliver those messages um, as well to you. And then and the, the, mo the most part of what's going to happen between the both of us is that the messages that's going to be coming through is only to help you along your spiritual journey or only to help you along your spiritual path um, in any event. So they're going to say, what is your name, my love? Um, Elias. Elias? Okay, so your spirit guide. Yeah, yeah, Elias. Elias, all right. Um, which is a beautiful name. I don't know if you are, if your ancestors are from Ghana um, in any event, but I'm definitely picking up like the Mali or rather the Dogon people dealing with the stars and astrology. Um, so I'm not sure if you are into that particular um, science, but definitely within your G DNA, you have like the Dogon um, family or the Dogon uh, DNA within you. So again, I don't know um, if you ever got like a, uh, a DNA or rather uh, ancestral reading or whatnot, but definitely what your spirit guides is saying that you come from like that particular um, area of, of the continent, which is, you know, Mali. Um, you know, dealing with the Dogons in any event. So like I said to you before, um, your spirit guides is going to say, this is Eli, this is where he come from, this is what's going on with him now, and this is what he should be doing to further assist you on your spiritual journey. Okay? Okay. Correct? Okay. So yeah, the first... Um, uh -huh. yeah, my, my mother is actually, my mother is uh, the side of the family that's actually from Ghana. Oh, they from Ghana. Oh, okay. 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 So, yeah. then, it's ve so then it's very close. So this is very close. So let me tell you something, my love. I'm going to tell you one thing. You want to get into, you definitely, along your journey, again, I don't, we're going to get, you know, I'm going to allow you to express yourself, but along your journey, um, as you ascend into your higher consciousness, um, astrology is something that you will excel in only because you have that genetic information from the Mali side of you because, you know, they're very close in, 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 um, in countries. Um, so you have a little bit of that as well. You have a little bit of that genetic information from those particular particular people um or those that particular area as well so again I don't know if you're into astrology or even numerology or anything dealing with the planets and the stars but that is you know a, a part of your ancestral um bloodline in any event so the first thing that's coming up with you my love and I'm going to allow you to express yourself and ask questions but these are the messages that's coming through right now the first thing that's coming up with you uh-huh is dealing with the root chakra and also dealing with the um the solar plexus and what they're trying to and what they're saying is independence security um and also family and also genetic information so again i don't know if you are a researcher but researching um is 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 you know within your you know alignment you would do very good with researching old information and stuff like that also security they're saying to the extent that he is not secure with himself is to the extent that sometimes you might go through ups and downs and you know you know and emotional balance because for you, my love, you are a person that likes to be secure. You are a person that likes independence. So in order for you to, I guess, you know, 
um, align yourself with your highest good on the chakra level, you want to deal with uh, focusing on the root chakra first while you go into meditation, okay, because that's what's coming up with you, the root chakra um, is coming up with you, and also the solar plexus, so again, never second guessing yourself, um, because he is the wise one, or rather, he is the chosen one, so again, I don't know if you are into, um, you know, uh, intuition, or even doing readings, um, for people, but that is, you know, that is, um, that will be good for you, you know, doing readings for people rather on astrology level, or rather an intuitive readings, because, um, he has strong intuition is what your spirit guides is saying, um, and he needs to follow it. I don't know if you, what is your sign, my love? Scorpio. Yeah, yeah, Scorpio, definitely Scorpio. Um, and that's dealing with what? That's dealing with occultism. And that's also dealing with, you know, um, spirits and intuition. Scorpios are the sign of the researchers. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You guys get down to the bottom line of certain things. And you also deal with, you know, what is hidden. So in any event, beloved, in any event, you, I don't, and, and again, security is a big thing for Scorpio. If you guys are not secured financially and in a relationships, then your whole mood is off so in any event my love i would definitely recommend for you to again first work with the um your 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 root chakra and then going and building a very strong connection um a very strong connection with your solar plexus and what the another thing that's coming up i don't know if you're in a relationship now um but love is definitely going to come for you or rather love is going to begin to blossom to the extent that you begin to love yourself is to the extent that you're going to find somebody that is in your own, you know, or rather that is your compatibility or your match. Stop, get, set, stop second guessing yourself and then stop, you know, uh, I'm feeling more so because what I'm seeing here, um, as your spirit guides is saying, uh-huh, give me a second, as your spirit guides is saying, I'm seeing you being pulled. Your body is being pulled like left and right and left and right. So left and right. So it may seem like you might be confused um, about a certain situation, which, you know, I'm going to allow you to express yourself. But it might be some type of confusion um, that you are going through or will be going through or have been going through. Um, but in any event, what they're saying is, listen to your spirit or rather follow your spirit because your spirit would never stir you any wrong. Um, are you in a relationship now, my love? Yeah, but it's, uh, it's I am very, uh, there's a lot of confusion about oh. the current relationship. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So that's where the, you know, that's where your spirit, you know, that's where I see you where you're being pulled this way, you get, you know, being pulled one way, you put being pulled another way, you're being pulled this way, you're being pulled another way, you understand, so in any event, you know, you know for yourself that your spirit never stirs you wrong, you know for yourself that your own intuition never stirs you wrong, so why are you going against yourself, that's the issue, why are you going against yourself, so that's the reason why you're that's the reason why you're in turmoil now is because you're second guessing yourself and you know the you know the real deal. Um, give me a second. Is your grandma on the other side? Yeah. yeah. She she um she lived in Ghana too. Um. No, she was in like Liberia. Um, oh, Liberia. Yeah, because I see some part of Africa. I didn't know where it was at, but I seen. Some part of Africa is where she was living at. Oh, so you all over the place. You got you got Ghana, you got Liberia. I'm also channeling Mali. So you have a very you could even you can even have um close ties with your spirit guys are saying you can even have close ties to people from the Congo. Um, I'm from Congo. So you can even have like some some okay. genetic uh huh, some genetic ancestral lineage from the people from Congo because again, your grandma here uh huh, your grandma here is um was living in Liberia. So you you know your your background is is pretty uh solid. Um, it's pretty solid, especially um 
what your grandma is telling me is that you are the wise one. Um, so you, I'm going to need you to become a prince or rather I'm going to, I'm going to need you to align yourself with that prince energy. So I don't know if you come from, again, I don't know if you come from a wealthy background or, you know, your family, you know, were wealthy or any event, but that's definitely coming up with you, um, dealing with land, um, you know, and dealing with, you know, just, just, uh, hardworking people, um, making it surviving is what they're saying. We always survive. We always made the way um, is what your grandma is saying. So in any event, you, you let that go with that love relationship. I'm sorry. Let that go. Let that go. You know why? You know why I'm telling you to let that go? Um, because there's too much confusion going on. One your aura is not uh complete is what your spirit guys is saying too and then three your grandma here is telling me to tell you to be wise so i'm feeling more so that she's telling me to tell you to be wise pertaining to this relationship that you're in so make a wise decision in terms of do you want to sacrifice yourself or do you want to just be free and align yourself with your highest good? So which one you want to do? Do you want to, you know, as Scorpios, you guys tend to want to hold on, um, you know, because you guys have this love and you guys are very affectionate and you, you're loving beings. But, you know, if if you, your soul, yourself, you know, if, if you're not feeling it and it's like, you know, it's not secure, like the root chakra is coming up. If you're not secured, then then how can you be free? How can your mind be at ease? Yeah. You feel yeah, me? It's just, I, I guess it's, yeah, it's, I, I, feel, I feel that exactly the, between being, uh, sacrificing myself and the freedom, but it seems like every time I would, try to get free, I don't know, something would come up and would kind of keep me boxed in the situation. It's a little weird to, you know, to explain, but it's just what I feel inside of me, you know, so it's been difficult to, I guess, get complete freedom. Hmm. Uh, uh, so does that make any sense? No, I understand. No, no, I, I feel you, bro. I feel you. I, I, I know that you are trying or not trying. I know that your spirit is wanting to come out, but there is something that is holding you back. And this is the reason why I show, I told your spirit guide showed me that you are being pulled one way, the other way, one way, the other way. So it's like, you're trying to move forward, but you're getting pulled backward. You're trying to move forward, but you're getting pulled backward. I see it. Yeah, yeah, that feels yeah. like my life. <laughs> yeah, I see yeah. it. I, I definitely I definitely see it. However, here's the answer to this issue. Uh resonate with your higher self. Resonate with when you go into meditation or rather when you sit in solitude or rather when you sit in silence, ask your spirit what is what what do I want? How do I feel? You get what I'm saying? What do I want? How do I feel? Yeah. And and, and, and and have that spirit talk with yourself. And that's why they're saying to work with your solar plexus. Your so you are you familiar with the different chakra levels in your body? Are you familiar? Um somewhat. I'm not an expert, but like yeah, I'm somewhat familiar. Okay. Um, yeah. but you have a you have an idea of what I'm speaking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, you know, in any event, um, work with that root chakra again, you know, it's not a coincidence that they, the first thing that came up with you besides the family, um, is the root chakra. And what, what did I mention? I said security and independence, um, you know, and family. So with Scorpios, Scorpios are very big on that, right? You want to, um, you know, you want to have a family. You guys are about bonding and loving and things of that nature. However, if, if it's not, if it's not genuine, I'm going to say, then that's where that, that, that turmoil is coming in at. And you don't, you don't deserve that. You're a good brother. You're a good guy. You come from royalty. You know, you, 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 you definitely will make a lot of money if you, you know, on your own in, in any event, if you just, 
you know, um, go with the flow. And the flow is in is the internal flow. Um, is what they're saying. I want you to work with. I'm gonna tell you the crystals that you want to work with, which is coming up. Um, I want you to work with amethyst, and I also want you to work with um rose quartz, and I also want you to work with um emeralds. Okay, so those three crystals is coming up for you. Um, in terms of seeking clarity, mental clarity, seeking um emotional balance. Um, in any event, and just healing yourself to gain that universal love, my love, okay? And this session has been okay. recorded. Um, I'm not sure exactly where you, you know, you, you, uh, I, I'm sure you didn't see any of my videos since you said you don't, you haven't, you know, um, you're not familiar with how I conduct sessions, but, um, this session has been recorded, and I, I, I put most of my, uh, videos up on my channel, um, with the permission of my client. So if you don't want this session to be put up, then it won't be put up. But if you give me permission, then I will post it. But in any event, my love, you don't have to write anything down because it has already been recorded. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine to put it up. Okay. Yeah, but, you know, you have any questions, actually? You didn't ask no questions. You have You have any questions? Um, yeah. I don't know if you're, like, well, one question I do have, um, with going back with, to my family background, yeah. um, I was told that, uh, from, on my mother's side, from, um, some of my, well, my uncles, and, well, yeah, mostly my uncles, that there was some type of family, uh, curse that was put on the family going back to my grandmother's parents um, and that this curse was supposed to affect the family's wealth, uh, the generational wealth uh, mm. going forward. And um, one thing that I've noticed, uh, just for me personally, uh, that, yeah, there is uh, money, well, it's supposed to affect money and marriage. Those mm. two things, I believe, from what I what I understand, mm. and those two areas have, you know, I don't know, sometimes I feel like I'm crazy because I'm like, I'm seeing these things happen, but I'm like, okay, well, if it's just me focusing on this or it's really happening, mm. and, you know, I, I, there'll be strange things that'll take place, you know, every time it seems like I get close to those two things, uh, whether it be uh, a woman that I'm interested in mm -hmm. or, you know, finances, something crazy will always, it never fails, like something crazy will always happen, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. kind of set me back. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I was wondering about that. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you how, how I'm, what I'm picking up with that, right? Um, that, that may be so, okay? You know, people do things, especially us Africans. We always put some juju on somebody's family or, or somebody's wife or husband or whatever. That may be so. But once you resonate with the God in you, nothing or nobody can take away what the universe has for you. That that's you have to you have to speak universal language, brother. You have to speak that language and you have to resonate with that frequency. You don't give a damn who did what. If you resonate, if you know that you are God, or rather you know that you come from God, then you know that you are able to create and manifest anything that you want on this planet without anyone affecting that. It is because you're believing in that concept that, okay, a curse has been put on or you are entertaining it. So once you entertain that concept, what happens? It gets stuck in the subconscious mind and then it becomes real. So everything that happens, you're, you're automatically going to trace it back to what has been told to you because it's a spell that has been cast on the subconscious mind. And that is the reason why they spoke to me, or rather the message is coming through again about the root chakra. Security, independence, family. So break that code. You you have the power to break it. You have the power. Don't think that you don't have the power, especially as a Scorpio. You guys deal with the underworld. You guys deal with occultism, what is hidden. Family. So in any event, 
I'm saying that, yes, it could be true that, but I don't feel like it's affecting you particularly or your generation of family. It could have been because, again, I pick I picked up that you, you know, you have a lot of ancestral lineage from, um, you know, um, the Mali. And I also did, like you said, I mentioned the Ghana. They do that kind of stuff. They do it all over Africa. They do it. Yeah. But is it affecting you? It won't affect you unless you you give it any energy. Okay. So change your change your thinking. Once you change your thinking, my love, you will change your reality. And I definitely feel like it's time. You know, um, how long you've been dealing with this this sister here? Um, going on about ten years. Oh, so this is like a yeah. marriage. Oh, this is why this thing is so deep like that. This is like a marriage. No, this is like yeah. a marriage. Oh, no, this is yeah. why. Ooh. Ooh, brother. This is like a marriage. Oh, man. Do you know within this year, 2019, um, many of, at least half of my clients, are going through divorces and separations. I feel like it's a cosmic shift where the love affair or rather the the relationship that we was once in, if it if it no longer serves us our highest good or if we have completed an emotional assignment, this is the year now cosmically that many people are going their separate ways from 10-year marriages, 7-year marriages, 5 years, 3 years, you name it. People are going their separate ways. I've I've been successful in saving some, but I also know that it, some of them I can't save because it, it's their time to go to separate now. And that's the reason why I keep feeling like that, you know, that, that, that pulling between, you know, and that's why your grandma had to come through to give you that, to drop that jewel for you, um, you know, to drop the jewel because this is something 10 years, damn. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is not, no, this is, this is, this is a part of you. This yeah. is a part of you. And as a Scorpio, you guys, you know, you guys, this, you know, you, you, the, you're the ultimate lover. Ultimate, 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 ultimate. I ain't gonna front. <laughs> yeah, Scorpios. Intense, intensity. My love, um, I would recommend you to take a Yemaya bath, which is on my site. Um, um, that will help you to, you know, within the healing process, I don't know if it's going to cure you because again, this is your, this is the beginning stages of the separation or the, um, you know, just the final stage of your, your final decision. So I would recommend that Yemaya bath on my site. Um, I prepare all baths um, by hand, you know, it's my energy with the guidance of your spirit guides um, in any event, you know, and, you know, just cleanse yourself, you know, and Yemaya, she deals, you know, she favors Cancers, Scorpios, and, and Pisces, so, you know, it will benefit you to just, you know, heal yourself or, you know, maintain that emotional imbalance when you know when you you know when you're going between back and forth back and forth you want to you want to help yourself you know because it's not easy especially as a man yeah you have any other questions my love um, i guess uh you know one thing with uh with dreams um mm. A lot. I get some games sometimes with the same people that keep popping up, and um, you know, I don't know how to take that. And I guess well, this with some um, family members I had, and they had some issues of jealousy, mm-hmm. and I don't really deal with them anymore. And it's not because I really have any ill intent, but I just don't trust them. Mm-hmm. But I keep having they keep popping up in my dreams over and over in different scenarios. Sometimes it's to antagonize me or sometimes it's like, you know, we're hanging out. It's just kind of strange. And I, I, I haven't been able to figure it out. Like, you know, like, I don't, yeah. you know, 
they're, they're telling you what's going on. That's that's they're telling you what's going on. That's why I keep telling you the cult, what is hidden, whatever is hidden is going to be shown. You're a Scorpio, so before he, it before it even manifests on a physical level, you you already aware because it's it's prophesizing. You see, prophesizing. You're seeing it coming to you, or rather, whatever you have been going through with them. Your spirit is now bringing it to the forefront. So it's one of two things, right? That's why I said your spirit guides are going to tell me things about you that happened from the past, present, and future, right? So it's one of two things. is one, your feelings that you have towards them that now is coming up and being shown in, in your spirit, in your dreams, or whatever it is that they are doing to you is being revealed in your dreams. One or two things. One or two things. So just be aware. That's it. And just, you know, yeah. you release them. You release these family members. You release them to the light and, with you know, with, with love and positivity. Because to the extent that you send out love is to the extent that love comes back around to you. You never want to... You never want to, uh, you know, not saying that you hate people, but you never want to um, send out negative vibes um, cosmically. That's a no-no. Or, you know, I can't stand this person. Or, you know, I wish, you know, like just just, just low vibration. You, you'd never want to do that, especially now where things are very high in sensitivity. Because what goes around comes right back around. Yeah. All right, my love. What is your name? Oh yeah, Elia. Your name is Elia, right? Elia. Yeah, Elia. Cause I was like, what's your name again? I forgot. <laughs> Cause you know, I don't need a name to channel. I just, you know, I just need to get on the phone with you. I don't really need. I, 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 I gotta forgot your name. You my brother though. You my brother. You my brother, my love. You my brother. I'm glad that you know you came to me so that I can provide you with this closure. I'm glad. Where did you? Where did you? Uh. Where did you see me? Somebody recommended me. Um, I was watching. I saw you on um on YouTube while you were on uh, Joe Benjamin's um, channel. The interview you did with uh, it was Uko Electro. Uh, oh no, that like that must that uh, no that's um I I I'm not on Joelle's channel. Uh no, I don't no I'm not on Joelle's channel. It's uh. Brother Rich, Brother Rich, that's my brother, yeah. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh! I think you're in the store. Yeah. yeah, oh, okay, so you see me on that channel. Okay, so that's okay, so that's good. So how did it, how, 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 what's your feedback on that? Um, it, it was pretty good. I mean, it, I, I, I felt that, um, you were truthful in what you were saying, so, oh. um, Oh, thank it just, you. It, it felt, felt right, so I was like, let me, you know. Yeah, intuition. Try. Yeah, your intuition, your soul. Your soul guided me, well, rather guided you to me, so that now you can receive closure with your family and your relationship and yourself. So you, that, that everything happens yeah. by divine appointment. And now you can go back on that channel and leave a comment like, yeah, I, I had a session with the sister and she... She's pretty helpful if you choose to do so. <laughs> if you, yeah, yeah, if, you yeah. if you choose to do so, my love. Okay. All right, my love. So I thank you so do you have a last question? you seem like you have another question. Do you have another question? Um, yeah, this is the last question yeah. I guess, uh, because this is for right now, like um um I want to, you know, really transition to just uh, making money for myself instead of working because I really, I don't like the idea of working for others. And I want to use my ability to me, like my artistic abilities in my writing, you know, kind of work with music and things like that. So um, I was just wondering about that. Like, was that a route to pursue, you know, or... I guess for financial stability or not. I'm I'm gonna tell you like this. You go you go for it. 
You know why I'm going to tell you go for it? Um, because I know that you are going to be calculated in the steps that you will take. Um, you're going to be, you know, like your, your grandma here say wise, um, about, cause I know that you like, again, you like to be secure. So you're not going to put yourself in a situation where you're not going to be secured or you don't know where the next dollar is coming in at. So within the steps, and again, you got to go through what this is known as the spirit talk. Within the steps of spirit talk, your spirit will guide you and you will be successful. Again, astrology, numerology, um, you know, even doing intuition, intuitive readings, um, you know, when you get to that level, this may be something in the near future for you, um, will also help or rather will also be an, an avenue to, you know, to make money. So if you want to heal people on a music level, then go ahead and do so. But don't go and just do it, you know, straight forth, you know, and just leave everything behind. Transition. Do the transition nice and smooth. You know, like when someone transitioned from eating meat to being a vegetarian, they just don't go cold turkey. They they take steps, meaning they yeah. take the fish. Then after the fish, they do the mock uh, mock uh, meat or whatever. It's step by step. So that's what I recommend for you to do. So whatever you're doing now to make money, which which is working for somebody else, then just you know put your plan out there in action, and then just go for it. But you know step by step. Okay. It's just a stepping stone, my love. You you. you you're on you're on a journey you're on a path spirituality is an everlasting journey okay so i thank you i thank you brother yes so uh text me your email address and um when i upload this video i'll send it off to you okay and you give me permission to upload it okay. publicly, right? It's, it, it, can, it can go public. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, Miss Scorpio. Good night. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, good night. All right. Peace Bye. out. Thank you. All right.